Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Bosch dishwasher side trim strip. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new side trim strip. The side trim strip seals the dishwasher to the side of the cabinet. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged, and you're getting noise coming from the side of the dishwasher. In order to change the part, we have to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets. First thing we're going to do is go underneath the sink and disconnect the lines. Now that we're underneath the cabinets, you want to make sure that the dishwasher is still unplugged, and you may want to throw a towel down. When we take off the fill line and the drain hose, there's going to be some water that comes out. First, we're going to disconnect the fill line. It's connected right here to the hot water valve. You want to make sure the water valve is off. And then we're going to use our 5 8 inch wrench to loosen up the hose. Once you have it broke free, you can just reach in and unscrew it by hand. Once you have it off, you can just set it down. And then we can take off the drain hose. To take the drain hose off, you just want to follow it up to wherever it goes. It may go to the garbage disposal. Ours goes up to the air gap. Once you locate the end of it, we're going to take a 5 16 nut driver and loosen up the clamp. Once you have the clamp loose, you can pull it free and set it down. Once you have the lines disconnected, we're going to open up the dishwasher door. Use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws to hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Once you have the screws out, we're going to lift up on the door and use it to carefully pull the dishwasher out from the cabinets. We're only going to pull it out a few inches and then we can leave the door open. Once you have the dishwasher out, we have access to the side trim strips. There's one on each side and there's a couple screws on each side that hold it in. We're going to use the Torque 20 driver to take them out. As you're taking the last screw out, you want to make sure you hold on to the side trim strip so it doesn't fall off. This side comes off the same way. Here's the old side trim strips next to the new ones. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. There is a left and a right on the side trim strips. You want to make sure the little cutout for the hinge is on the right side. Once you have the right side, all you have to do is press it onto the frame, and then we can use the Torque 20 driver to put the screws in. As you're tightening down the screw, you want to make sure you push the seal out of the way so the screw doesn't damage it. Once you have this side done, we can do the one on the other side. Once you have the side trim strips installed, you can lift up on the door and close it and push the dishwasher back all the way into the cabinet. Once you have it in, we can go underneath the sink and reconnect the lines. Now we can reconnect the drain hose to the air gap. Once you have it pushed up into place, we're going to use our 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten down the clamp. Once you have the drain line hooked up, we can hook up the water line. All you have to do is get it started by hand. Once you have it snug, we can reach in with our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down so it doesn't leak. Once you have the lines reconnected, you can open up the dishwasher door. 
and use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws to hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Once you have the screws in, we can close the dishwasher door. Then we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.